Kelly Price was around here commenting on Puffy's I'm Sorry post. And when folks saw her comments on Puffy's I'm Sorry post, they felt some kind of way. Um, what she had said was, well, I ain't like it now. I don't really like it stuff for no reason. Um, it's my sincere prayer that the power of the Holy Ghost overtake you so that you not only have a change of hearts, but a change of mind and a change of direction. I have seen you at your best and at your worst. I know what you are capable of being when you are at your best. Despite the seductions of this industry, I want to see you and I want to see you. Wait, I want to see you and I want to see you soon to create this in this business. I think it's to create this in this business, but I need you to pray and I need you to receive this to receive from the most high. I need for those prayers to take place sincerely. You are unique. You are a unique talent and both sides that represent light and darkness receive you anxiously. Do you know who God is? Lay not, lay not until your girl lay not upon your own understanding, but all but all your ways is out of him and you will direct your path. Hearts KP for Kelly Price. Okay. So Kelly posted that on Diddy's apology video. And people said, bitch, what? Say what now? You gonna pray for you pray for Diddy? All right. Man. So let's because she got drug on social media. A lot of folks were saying this and saying that about her, and she felt some kind of way. And so she came out and made a whole video about a child. A whole one. Child, child, I need the filters on social media to look less filterish. I just feel like you know, it's it. You you don't look human. Okay, you you, you don't look human. I'm not gonna sit in here and argue with trolls. Um, I'm finally to the point where I realize after 31 plus years in this business, there's always gonna be somebody that has something negative to say. So I leave them. So you gonna start off saying, I'm not gonna be on here arguing with trolls. While being on social media to discuss what trolls, as you say, said about you. I'm in their negative space and I stay in the space that God has blessed me to be in because whether you love me or hate me, you can't do anything about it. Um, I came here to say this. Um, I do realize that... Y'all think she in an Uber? Because why she talk a child when I, when I watched it, I'm like, why is she talking so low? Is you in the backseat of an Uber? I had to cut the volume up to like 250 to be able to hear what she was saying. That when you put something out, you leave it up to the person who hears it or sees it. It's really up to how they choose to comprehend it. Some of you got it. Some of you did not. Um, I could give you the whole religious thing, which if you are a real Kelly Price follower, you know, I'm not church. I love God because I stick with where there are humans, there is the opportunity for there to be lots of error because we are all made of flesh, all born in sin, all shaped in iniquity. And we all have the capacity if we allow ourselves to go to a dark enough place to do some very horrible things. So. This is the bullshit. Because I feel like it is very true. We are all human beings. We are all flesh and blood. We all make mistakes. We all sin. That is very, very true. Okay? Very, very true. However, the get you gotcha is when you knowingly leave a hotel room in a towel and run down the hall and chase somebody and knock them to the ground and then kick them on the ground and then drag them back. 
that no no and you're you're at the time you're in your 40s this whole narrative of oh we're all human we are there's a difference between hey I, you know look 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 I was I was stupid I was young and dumb I, I didn't really think it was a big deal if I robbed the bank I did a little fraud I didn't think it was a big deal. I learned my lesson, blah, blah. I, I was, whatever people do, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that people do, and they feel like I was young, dumb, not thinking, blah, 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 blah. Puffy was 45, 46, 40, whatever years old. He, in his upper, he was older than me. Puffy was older than me. Now I'm 42 now. He was, what, 48 at that point in time? Maybe 40, 46, 47, whatever. He was 46, 47, 48 years old. Don't make it seem like, yeah, we can all do that. We can all make mistakes. No, not at 48. No. No. In your 40s, you're smart. In your 40s, you know better. And when you try to rationalize what a 48-year-old man did, and you want to, I want to pray for you, for you to get better, child, suck it. For those of you who got it, you don't need an explanation. And if, that's the, if those who got it, got it, why explain it? If you said it for those who got it to get it, why come out and explain shit unless you do what, unless you what, want some attention? She could have eaten, and also how she wrote that thing that she wrote, that she wrote, maybe she, maybe she was Ubering and was typing, I don't know. You could have easily said, you know what, it's horrible what he did. He needs to pray. He needs to repent. He needs to fix it. He needs to go. To, if you, if your point was, he need to get right with himself because what he did was a, a, a say that you wrote a thesis paper, child in circles, and you upset because folks thought you was you were trying to give sympathy to him because of what you wrote. Um, I have not spoken about any of this stuff since it's come out. I don't stand with anything that is criminal. Um, none of us can unsee what we saw. For those of you who got what I was trying to say, and I was compelled to say it, I don't need the clout. Um, so for those of you who are saying that, you know, you're the one who's inside my life, so I guess you need it. Um, when she just said, y'all on my last up, y'all with me clout. Ma'am, let's just ask the question. When was the last time someone said, what Kelly Price doing? Yeah, what Kelly Price said? Mm -mm. Yes, ma'am, you are Kelly Price. And yes, because you made a comment, folks said, what the fuck is wrong with Kelly Price? But Kelly Price, you are still using this moment to get attention on yourself. It was really more of a warning. Like, when it's all said and done, we're body, soul, and spirit, right? So, if someone has a problem with alcoholism or drugs or whatever it is, if you put them in a 90-day program and they feel better at day 45 and they check themselves out, the work has not been finished. The work has not been complete. What the fuck they got to do with a project in China? I'm, I simply said to him because I believed that he would hear it that make sure, I was pretty much telling him, do the soul work. So it wasn't, oh my God, I'm praying for you. Why are they trying to drag the black man down? You've not seen me out here on that. So for those of you who tried to make it that, you need something to harp on and I get it. Do what you gotta do to make your life feel important. I don't need to do those things. Not do, do what you have to do to make your life feel important because I don't have to do those things. But you on live talking to people who you say didn't get what you meant. I actually do real things. I ride in Ubers with filters on 
and I keep moving my hair out my face, I do real things. Y'all who are watching me, y'all don't do real things. Because only people who made music in the 90s and 2000s are real people who do real things, okay? I ride around here in my hat, okay? In my necklace, in my earrings, I do real things. You don't. Okay. That leave a mark in this world, which is the reason why you actually know my name while you're trying to drag me. Oh, you make a mark in this world. So that means if no one knows your name, you didn't make a mark in the world. Even if your family loves you, okay? Even, if, like for me, you, you know a person who is not famous, who make a mark in my life, okay? The Coney Island I go to, I go, I have I have a favorite Coney Island. And the girl at the at the, the drive-thru window, I don't know her name, but every time I go, I go like once a month, okay? When she hear my voice, she done my order. It's Jay, a corned beef, all right, no pickle, no mustard, extra Swiss. Yes, girl, yeah. She makes my day. Why? Simply because she always remember my sandwich. Because I, I when I go. So my thing, when people say stuff like, oh, you don't matter in life, I do because I'm famous. And now I put a my footprint in this world. We have our favorite restaurant waiting people we have our favorite cvs checkout girl we have our favorite ship shopper we have our favorite whoever we have our favorite door dash delivery person whoever we, we have our favorite front desk girl at the doctor's office who who was like girl get your copay and i said it, it aggravates me when people make it seem as if when famous folks make it seem as oh because i'm famous i've made a mark in the world you don't matter you know me so I matter more than you. No, bitch. The girl at the Coney Island <laughs> who know my sandwich. That that's who and, and and I and I rarely ever have cash on me. But sometimes when I do have cash, even if, if I have a whatever a one, a five, a ten, a twenty, if I have whatever bill on me, I give it to her. So sometimes sometimes I tip her twenty bucks, ten because that's the time I have cash on me because she's so nice. That's who make a difference in the world, okay? She was a friend of mine, bitch. Shut up. Okay. Um, I really was telling him do the soul work. Do the soul work. Have you done the soul work? Have your soul worked? Is your soul clean? Is you going to heaven? Does God hear your prayers? Are you nice to people? No. Because there's nothing that therapy a psychologist, a psychiatrist, whatever the case may be, they can give you steps to try and not repeat the behavior. But you up here, filter face, not doing the work and being a damn troll to folks who are telling you you sounded dumb, telling Diddy to pray, not pray, telling him to do the work. He ain't, he, he lying. He ain't doing, you know he ain't doing the work. You up here telling somebody else to do the work to be better while being a little mean, evil, little spirited person on your own live. You got on live just to be difficult because you knew the people who did not like your comments would be on there. Who purposefully goes on a live to be aggravated? Y'all know me. If I'm having a bad day, I do not do a live. You wonder why? I don't want y'all mad at me because I'm mad at, my, at not myself, but I'm mad at whatever's going on. You know what I'm saying you don't want to transfer your negative energy of a bad day. Oh, what if you, a bad day if you just say whatever. I don't want to transfer my energy to y'all if I'm not in a good mood. But you up here in an evil little, uh, evil little negative spirit to fuss with people and tell them they're less than you because they're not famous, bitch. Who who drag, who made your hat? Okay, who pressed your hair? Who did your makeup? Who fucked your hair? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if you don't get your soul right, there will not be real change. The proper definition of, of um, repentance is a change of heart, a change of mind, and a change of direction. So that means when Kelly Price come to your city for a show, 
don't go. You want to know why? Because she said only she matters. She ain't changed her stuff up. Okay, so don't y'all don't y'all go paying for no Kelly Price ticket. No, instead of paying for Kelly Price ticket, send me five dollars instead of <laughs> cash at me five dollars. If y'all even think about going to a Kelly Price concert, I was basically telling him, you got to change your heart, you got to change your mind, and you got to change your direction. If you know God, you say you know God, but you want to know God or you want to do better. I simply was saying that he had to do the work. So do you. The rest of you went on a harp. You went off on this thing. You talking about I pick a side. I pick the side of righteousness. Not righteousness. Girl, right, wrong, or indifferent, you being a fucked up individual in, 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 inside of yourself, and this spirit of just nastiness, trying to tell somebody else to clean up their shit, who's the abuser, pot me kettle, microwave me air fryer. Get the same damn people. I don't care who it is. There's no amount of money that's going to make me. There's no person in any position that's going to ever make me be okay with doing something to someone else so horrific. Oh, but when you see it done to somebody, your friend, because what did she say? I haven't commented at all. I haven't said anything at all. And the first thing you do is go try and tell Puff what to do. Not any sympathy for Cassie or anybody else he's, he's, he's abused. Your first bet was, oh, Puff posted an apology. Let me go and finally say something to Puff. We live in a world where people thrive off of this stuff. Y'all have a good time jumping online, talking to people like they crazy that you know you ain't gonna ever see in real life. And if you did, you definitely won't have that energy. I keep telling y'all, y'all better be careful because you never know who you're gonna see. And if you see them, you never know how when you walk up on them, how they're gonna respond. Like this? What you wanna do? I said your spirit is evil, and it is. We have keyboard thugs. This is the... I'm just I'm The thing, we don't hold each other accountable enough. You saw what you wanted to see. And if that's how you understood it, I'm going to let you see it that way. It ain't nobody fault that you wrote a soliloquy that didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa, for the cash app. Nobody is not nobody to you, Lisa. It ain't nobody fault except your own that you went and wrote something that did not make any sense for one and for two. It looked like what you wrote looked like what we took it as. You wanna know why? Because you wrote in circles. A haiku. I told him, do what you need to do to get your soul right, brother. It's up to the courts to decide what they do with him legally. I have nothing to do with that. You know he ain't going to court. They already said he ain't going to court because it's too old. But the, in the end, he's still gonna have to see God. He's still going to have to see God. And whether he lives a long life outside of jail or the rest of his life in jail, I'm talking to a person and telling him, get your soul right. I was not fist in the air. Go, Diddy, go. That's what y'all tried to make it be. You in your own way, you were. In your own way, Diddy, get right with God. Get better with yourself, Diddy. You should get better. You should fix yourself, Diddy. You can you you can do it, Diddy. You can do the work, Diddy. It's a, it's the same thing. No, you're not saying go, Diddy, go. What you're saying is you can do better. You can fix this. You can fix yourself. You can get better. That's what you were saying. You're bored this Sunday, by the way. I just had a most beautiful lunch with a colleague. It's been a good day for me because I refuse for trolls and people who have lesser understanding to decide how my day is a, is gonna go. You so after having a great lunch with a colleague and having a great day, you chose to get in your Uber ride to drive back to your husband or whatever um, and then talk to the trolls. Okay. You know what I am praying? That he got the message, that he saw it, and that he chooses to do those things. I could have came on here all Jesus-y preachy, he without sin, let him throw the first stone. We all know that. 
what we all got to remember too is you know we can't ask god for forgiveness if we can't forgive others but i didn't bring that here either you did you did kelly talking in riddles kelly like to talk in way where she can then say i didn't say go did he go i didn't say that no i didn't say that no i just said you can do better by getting doing the work do the soul work that's all i said you know because i can't judge him i'm not god you know, that's kinda, girl you can't you can't don't play dictionary with me you decided to misconstrue what i said and that's on you he needs to go to god he know what he has to do because the reality of it is is when you're in right standing with god god won't allow you when you're really in right standing with god he will not allow you to walk around knowing that you have done horrible things to people and not go back and make it right with them many of people have done horrible things to people and never went back and fixed it don't make it seem like god won't allow that to happen because it does happen it does happen we know we know that because diddy was lying up until sunday so stop lying on god stop making it seem like god would allow anyone to walk around here and hurt people tre tre tremendously and then not fix it. Tell that to the slaves who died slaves. Tell that to the people who have been RAPE'd and their per the person who did it never was found guilty. Tell that to the people who are constantly abused and don't get out because why? They kill them. So trying to make it seem as if would it God would allow anyone to walk. You sound stupid. Is you drunk? Would you drink that thing? So for the people who understood what it was I was trying to say. Did you understand it? I don't think you did. I was not up this morning being a Diddy cheerleader. You were. But we know there are different ways to be cheerleaders. The same way, the same way there are different ways to abuse people in different ways, emotional, physical, uh, sexually, spiritually. There are different ways to cheer for people and show them support by saying, do the work to get better, to get right with God. Yes, do the work, clean it up. Is different ways. You're not fooling nobody. And because you didn't fool people, now you're mad. I used my voice to someone who, for nearly 30 years now, if I had something to say, he would listen. Why did you text him or call him? If you know that man, you, you went to, to, to the social media to say it. You couldn't call him or text him? He listened because I didn't party with him. Hmm. He listened because I did not hang out with him socially. His nickname for me when I first started working with Bad Boy back in the 90s was There Goes the Church Girl. We had a nickname or an insult. Anyway. Everybody knew I just wasn't about certain things. Okay? So if your only way you say I need relevance, I'm sorry, sweetheart. My songs will be playing the day that the world blows up. Uh, ask R. Kelly that question. Ask Puffy. Okay. When you feel like I can never do any wrong, my, my son will always play. I ain't heard a friend of mine on the radio forever. And the more you try to boast up how you're better than and can't nobody touch me, okay. I will never play another record. Ever. Because you, ma'am, you protest too much. If you if you weren't doing all of this with Diddy, you would clearly say, you know what, y'all, my my comments were misinterpreted. I this is what I meant, and you'll walk away. But you on here trying to insult people because you feel like you're better than them. Hey, Diddy, how you doing? So no, I don't need relevance. I don't need clout. I still have a roof over my head. I am very 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 well taken care of i was just 
as child one tornado one hurricane one earthquake one fire don't boast about what you have because god can take it away angry and as shocked as all of you were when you saw what you saw if you don't want to hear what i have to say purple heart get the hell out of my life i'm not playing with y'all i'm not playing with you get out my nose you weirdo if i had it to do again i would do it again and hope that he would do what he needs to do when you are in right standing with god he will not allow you to walk around knowing that you have hurt people knowing that you have wronged people is that why we don't ever see kelly price walking around because god ain't letting us see her maybe, maybe when she was maybe when she was sick she was with god he's not he's not gonna let your soul rest he's not gonna let your soul rest so i just you know for those who get it i wanted you to get it and that's that anybody that still you know wants to feel the way you feel you have that right mm. you do have that right right you do have that right mm -hmm. but i'm going to leave it at that um funny thing is that everybody that has all the advice to me on how i should handle it hmm. you go do what you're telling me to do you go do what you're telling me to do. You make that call. You see if you can get in the room. You make that call. You see if you can get into the room. Okay. Again, yes, let's look. People saying why not call him or text him or go talk to him if he listens to you. Maybe you could have told him a long time ago to stop being Cassie. But, you know, some people want to be known for what they're, 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 they'll be known for. I just want to show y'all who Kelly Price is. So when Kelly Price come to y'all city, y'all don't buy no ticket. It's one thing to feel like you have a right to your opinion, but to have a right to your opinion while speaking negatively down on other people as if they're less than and you are better than them because you're Kelly Price. I don't like that stuff. I don't like when folks try to make it seem as if because they're a celebrity, they are better than the people who wash their cars, who clean their houses, who pick who who do whatever else that is a a thankless, nameless, faceless job, but it's still needed to be done. The, the folks who took out your trash. You know, if, if we did not have the, the trash people to come pick up our trash and take it to the damn landfill or whatever, what would we do? Are you better than people, people who take your trash out who we don't know? No, bitch, you're not. It's as simple as that. I'm very, very grateful that I can go to God when I know that I have effed up. I, I really am grateful to know that I can go to God when I've effed up. Um, and again, I hope he does what I've advised him to do. Of course, I pray for victims. Oh, do you know? We didn't know that. Because you didn't say that. You didn't say that. Did you go comment on Kathy Page and say that you hope, did you pray for Kathy? Did you, did you, go, did you go do that? No? Okay. I know what it is to be an essay survivor. But somebody got to start getting to these people because clearly therapy is not enough. That nigga didn't go to therapy. Did he ain't do therapy? We got to start combining all of the resources that God has blessed us with and combine their attributes to try to be better and to try to do better okay i love all y'all even the ones y'all that don't get it if i got a booger in my nose i wish you were here that you could pull it out since you seem to keep looking at my nose but it's a pretty nose um, it looked like a booger because of the fucking uh filter 
is the filter. Um, yeah, God bless y'all. Happy Sunday. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Um, I don't have any hate towards anybody. It takes a lot of energy to hate. Um, if I don't rock with you, I just don't rock with you. At the end of the day, nobody gets to decide whether I make heaven other than God, the righteous judge. Um, he gets to make that decision. So while you out here trying to drag me through the internet, you know, try to make sure that when you close your eyes for the last time, that you'll be standing on the right side of God's decision making. Um, I said what I said. And that's it. That's y'all friend, y'all. That's a friend. She was a friend of mine who left with the man, lying and cheating, took all I had. That's y'all friend. Not my friend. That's y'all friend. Okay. Um, Kelly Price. I, I'm going to say this one little time to you um, and let you know that you sound dumb, okay? You sound like you are supportive of people who do bad things. And you hope they fix it. You sound like a person who chose to comment on Diddy's stuff and then be upset knowing it would get a backlash. You chose to use a whole bunch of words that can be taken in different ways, and in my opinion, you're not upset that your own words were confusing to not only us, right, you two, okay? So, that's y'all friend, y'all. She's not my friend. She she ain't no friend of mine. She ain't legal my man. She was lying and cheating and taking all we have. I'm gonna leave that be, okay? Take one little second, y'all, and like the video and have a bit of a dance break, okay? I, well, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do table this time.